Yo, what's up, guys? MVD Nation here, back again for the podcast. Today I have Dylan and I have my friend Nick with me. Hey. Say what's up, guys. What's up? Hey, All right. Nick. <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about the whole NFL free agency that's going on, maybe a little bit of the draft. So uh, Dylan, Nick, if you guys want to start talking, go ahead. I mean, there's been some really big signings throughout uh, free agency so far. Um, obviously, there's me and Nick are both Jets fans, so we're obviously super excited with what, what the Jets have done. Bringing in C.J. Mosley, Jamison Crowder, Le'Veon Bell. We re-signed Henry Anderson. You know, we did lose Andre Roberts, but that's all right, you know, I guess, sure. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of big moves. Uh, obviously, Odell to the Browns. You know, yeah, kind of pissed off about that. Yeah, Matt's, mm-hmm. Matt's a little mad. But, yeah, uh, I'm salty about it. Yeah. All, I'm pretty sure all Giants fans are. How are you not? Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'm salty about it. I'm a fucking Jets fan. <laughs> the so, Browns... Wait. If I say any bad words, no, you can. I can. Yeah. I can fucking curse. Yeah. Oh, everyone's fuck. Just don't say. Bad words. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the uh, the uh, Browns actually look like they're they're in uh, a really good spot to really push for the playoffs now. I mean, it's you got Baker Mayfield, Odell, Jarvis Landry, David and Joku, and right now they're running backs Nick Chubb. But everyone forgets that they still have Kareem Hunt, who's only suspended for eight games. So, Big time playoff push. Yes. It's be week nine, playoffs. Hunt's back, and they're in prime position to really make a push. Unless they have a bye week, like week seven, then he's back week ten. <laughs> well, yeah. But, Game uh, nine is what you should have said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be a douche. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Um, I, I don't see them making the playoffs at some point. The like, Browns? You don't think they make the playoffs a year? No. Uh, I already talked to you about it. The fucking AFC North sucks. Well, so. yeah. AFC North sucks, uh-huh. but they're still away. There's a team that has two running backs. They're still the Cleveland Browns, let's be honest. So? And the coaching staff's trash. I hope the Browns play the Giants. I hope they so, don't. too. They don't. And I can't wait until MetLife is Jet Life. I hate the you. Giants. I hate you, bro. Actually, I don't know if the Browns play the Giants. This year. I don't know. I don't know. I know, I know. The Jets... I know we play you guys. The Jets got the AFC North and the NFC East, and then they got the, the Raiders and the Jaguars. Yeah. So, so, I mean, back to the Jets... Le'Veon Bell's a huge, huge help to Sam Darnold, obviously. Going to take a lot off, you know. A lot off his belt, you know. Sam Darnold being such a young guy. Uh, Le'Veon Bell's going to be a really big addition to that offense. You know, can kind of light a spark for us when we need it. And everything else and whatnot. And then uh, on the defensive side of the ball, we did pick up C.J. Mosley. Another huge signing. We did pay him a lot. But uh, I think it's going to be worth it. C.J. Mosley's one of the better linebackers in the league. And teaming up with Avery Williamson and uh, Young and upcoming... Jordan Jenkins Fine. is going to be exciting to watch, and hopefully the Jets can draft Josh Allen in, in the draft. That'd be pretty cool, get a nice edge rusher. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. That'd be nice. Would be nice. I mean, with the Jets, the Jets show whatever they do. Like, everything that they've done recently has been relatively yeah, well been, in the yeah, last couple all, drafts. They've, yep. had, they've had two good drafts in a row, I think. Sam Darnold. Jamal Adams, Jamal. Sam Darnold. Yeah. And in those drafts, they got Nathan Shepard and people like that. Just good oh, filling yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, later on, yeah. But, talking about like that too, like that's important. Yeah. I mean, I obviously everyone gets caught up in, like the, those first round guys, especially. Yeah, I'm not big is, on the draft stuff. Like I get caught up in the first round, and then after that, it's like, right, yeah. whoever they get is who they get. Yeah. You know? But Nathan Shepard was a big impact for us. I love him. I just Perry hate that. Davis I hate got that. Some reps. I hate that Todd Bowles like just didn't play them because they're yeah, good. Yeah, it didn't. But again, we got new coaching staff. Adam Gase. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and there's the down ball. <laughs> And Greg Williams. Greg Williams. Defense, be nice. defense should be scary. Uh, we did pick up Brian Poole to take over for screen in that slot corner position, so that's that's a nice big addition. Uh, all right, let's talk about other teams other than just the, the uh, Jets. All right, well, so let's, wait, um, let's talk about the Giants real quick. Yeah, uh, since yeah, I'm a Giants yeah. fan, we picked up uh, Antonio Buffet. Old yeah, vet, Antonio old vet Buffet. safety. Uh, I had to look it up. I don't even know. I thought you said Antoine. You said Antonio Buffet. <laughs> yeah, Antoine, Antoine Buffet. Buffet. Whatever. Same guy. Marcus <laughs> Golden, outside linebacker. Mark. Yeah, he's in the. He's Both from the really Cardinals. Good. Yeah, there you go. Golden Tate. Who's your, your next Golden Olivier Tate, Burnham? A, a nice receiver. <laughs> Golden Tate. I mean, I I know it's a big deal, but I like the signing though, because we need another wide receiver. Maybe pick one up in the draft. Who knows? Later on. DK Metcalf. Yeah, hopefully. Six pick. <laughs> <laughs> um. And I know we signed some offensive linemen and then and our defensive for tackle. The and then the trade with the Browns, oh, obviously. Kevin Zeitler. Mm-hmm. Kevin Zeitler, oh, you yeah. You guys got... Jabril Peppers. Jabril Peppers. So, I mean, <laughs> safeties will be okay, I guess. But Landon Hodge, of no course. no longer interested in Dwayne Haskins. Which, I don't know why. I mean, all right, whatever. Uh, 
But it's all good. I mean, hey, the Giants have some. We're, we're rebuilding now. That's for sure. With all the moves that we made, they're gonna rebuild with one of the best running backs in the league. I mean, to keep you in games. Well, yeah, obviously, but with all the picks now we have, we oh, have yeah, thirteen I mean, draft yeah. picks in this up and coming draft. I'm I mean, a big, I'm mean, a big believer in the draft. Not, I like the draft. Not every draft pick works out. I, obviously, That's look at freaking Johnny Manziel and everybody else. That's why you got thirteen. <laughs> look at Darren Lee. Yeah. Can't wait to he's, trade him. He's about to get cut or traded. Trade, please. <clears throat> we can definitely get some good value for him. He has potential to be good. It's just he's not. He's not. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's he's just... not a linebacker. He's he's a safety that just is too small. He's just a small dude. That's all he is. He's not linebackers hit, and all he does is is catch tackles and miss tackles. I hate and it. He, I mean he he's good in coverage, but that's that's it. I thought he was really smart, right? I wouldn't know. He doesn't play smart. Oh. <laughs> He's a really good coverage linebacker. Where do you go to school? Ohio. State? State. Oh, no. Right? University. <laughs> right? Yeah, I think so. Ohio yeah. State? Yeah, I went to that. yeah, but I mean, you know. <coughs> Browns Browns are in for a good time. Uh, no, not a long time. <laughs> <laughs> what are some other big names? Uh, oh, Ryan Tannehill got traded yesterday. Ryan Tannehill got traded. To and the then, Titans. And to then Patrick the Dolphins did sign Ryan Fitzpatrick today. I tell you who made the fucking who had a really good one. I think the Bills had a really good free. Agency. They did. The uh, the Bills picked up a lot of players that they got Mitch Morris. They got AJ Brown. Who they got another receiver, right? Uh, I forgot who. You mean John Jaren Brown, not AJ Brown. No, they got a, no. Yeah, AJ uh, Brown's going to the draft. Not John Ross. Fucking John Brown. John Brown. John, John Brown. Brown. Not, yeah, AJ Brown's the draft guy. Ole Miss. So they they got. I mean. They definitely filled some holes that they needed, but uh, obviously that, that that team doesn't have any superstars. They're still so far away from everything. They might pick wide receiver and draft maybe. You if Metcalf know. goes tonight, hey, look, Metcalf. they Again, should. Metcalf's not f- falling past them. No, Metcalf's not going past ninth pick unless he gets in trouble or something. But I don't see that. Draft that you know, never know. Look at Larry Tunsil. Yeah, I mean he he he's like a drafted high though, but he might be taking woods. You don't know. <laughs> Who knows, dude? But uh, I mean, yeah, it's. Trey Flowers, right? He went to the Lions. Mm. Trey Flowers went to the Lions. Ezekiel Ansah still a free agent. Josh Sitton was just released. He was a guard who could play center. John should pick him up. <clears throat> no, Jets should pick him up. Um, yeah, but are the Jets going to pick him up? Probably. Hopefully not, because I want Bradbury. Well, they're going to have to fucking... they got to do something, because Bradbury's going to be... Um, what's it called? He's either going to be late first round or early second, so they're going to have to trade... They're going to have to get a trade because they don't have a second rounder. Which I could see us trading Darren Lee for the Buccaneers for their fourth pick in the second round. Yeah, but it's Bradbury. Or fifth pick, be there. sorry. Bradbury going to be there? I don't think he's going to go. Because you got to think about the Bengals, the Bengals need a center. Get okay. trade capital. A lot of trade people. back into the second, then trade back into the first. A lot of people need offensive line. With the Giants, that. they could probably go second round with the offensive line. Well, that was like line. Nick was talking about something. Trade back, one pick with the Raiders, get their 22nd pick, and we take. Jonah Williams with our fourth pick, and then we go and we take Bradbury with the 22nd. The old line set for the next couple of years. Yeah. Ryan Winters is what, 29? <clears throat> He's not Ryan Winters will be the next release. Exactly, then... exactly. But there's Brian Winters. Our left guard is Kalechi Osamel. I think how you say his name? Kalechi Osamel. Osamel, there you go. Yeah, Oso Smelly. <laughs> Oso Smelly. <laughs> <laughs> he came from the Raiders. Uh, that was a nice trade. They, they were kind of looking for. A salary dump, but I think he's twenty nine. We trade like a six round pick or something like that. Uh, we trade no, no, the fifth we round. We trade a fifth for their six and and assembly, which yeah. is honestly a steal and a half. Big steal. How many picks do you guys have up in this draft? Eight. Eight. Um, eight, so eight. Eight or nine. Which isn't bad. Seven, eight, it's or a nine. Decent amount. Yeah. So, but I mean, there's a lot that the Jets could do still. There's there's so a lot, and my boy Mac McCagnan. Mike uh, Mac, Magic Mike. He has he has a lot of options. I mean, he still has so much to do with this team that he you know, but hey. Le'Veon Bell is going to give a lot. It's going to take a lot, a lot of pressure off Sam Darnold, who's obviously young. And I, I feel like bringing him in is going to really, uh, really kind of boost Sam Darnold's progress throughout the league. His growth. And his growth. There you go. And Adam Gates is a good quarterback coach, and he did great with screens and court and and running backs like Kenyon Drake and all that in the past years. I, James like and Crowder said. signing. It's kind of like uh, Albert Wilson, a quick receiver. Who well, kind of like I said with the the whole. Adam Gates, obviously, with the fucking the Broncos when they won the Super Bowl. This is, I think, the Jets have a better offense than they do because, yes. well, at least at least a mirroring offense because yes. a none what plays is Demarius Thomas. Yep. Obviously, Robbie Robbie's better deep threat than Sanders. That is very without, true because he's just taller. Yeah, he's taller. We have and the, we have a better running back. That, yeah, that yeah, they way had. better running back. 
our quarterback's younger, he can actually make the throws. He's just yeah. not there as yeah, obviously on Peyton Manning's level mentally. I I could definitely see <laughs> I, That's I, I, I could definitely see Sam Darnold making. I mean, obviously not to Peyton Manning level, but I could see Sam Darnold making. I mean, those Listen, those last four or five games of the season last year, Sam Darnold played, yeah, it really looks, finally saw like, all right, like this is the franchise guy. So I'm real really looking forward to him playing for this next season because Sam Darnold's going to be a problem, and I mean it's he's going to slowly keep growing and now with Bell and James and Crowder and he has more t- options and targets. Him and Chris Herndon are finally, you know, they had a little... Herndon's going to be an animal. Herndon's so, going to be the next uh, Evan Engram. Max. <laughs> no, I don't know. Evan Engram. But, I mean, there's there's a lot, you know, it's... Don't Sam Darnold's really going to have like a lot that. to kind of kind of rely on throughout the season. So, I I can see that offense finally take shape. Obviously, the defense is going to be good. we got two big names now in, in Jamal and C.J. Mosley. And hopefully we can get either an edge rusher or somebody to get the double teams off of... Leonard Williams, because I mean, he's been leading, he's been top three in the league for the past what three years in uh, quarterback hurries. Something like that. He gets there, it's just he doesn't finish because he has he's been double teamed all the time. Yeah, you get those double teams off, but it's gonna be nasty. Yeah, I it's I want to talk about more teams. I feel like there's not really much more teams that they could. You're talk forgetting about. about somebody. Who? Antonio Brown. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't talked about yeah. that in other podcasts. Antonio Brown going to the Raiders. That's I mean. Oh well, that was in the beginning of. That yeah, was the first but, thing that happened. No one really yeah, cares. It's not. It's look, still big news. Okay, right? the biggest diva of he wasn't even a free agent, but the no. biggest diva trade of the entire free agency was Antonio Brown. He didn't want to play for the Steelers. Everyone knew that. And guess what? He was either going to the fucking 49ers or he was going to go to the, the Bills. The Ra- okay, shut up with that. <laughs> <laughs> the fact Psych that he apparently you. said he was, he was going to retire. If you got traded, come on, man! Like just, just go what play. What do you get traded you know? for? Huh? A third. You got thir- a third to fifth. For a, yeah, third and a fifth for Antonio Brown. Well, Odell but, was a first. A that's first or third. Odell didn't want to leave. Yeah, I know. Antonio Brown forced the trade upon the Steelers. Yeah, I know. The Giants did it because they wanted to. Yeah. It you see that Odell's Jordy Nelson got released? Jordy Nelson. I right, just, a, right that after, would be a nice addition. Right after Jack, um, Antonio showed up. The Jets pick up Nelson. Just have that veteran. I really mean. The thing about Jordy Nelson. He's just, I don't know. The only, I think the only team he'll play for, like good for again, would be the Packers, just cause. I just, I don't know. I don't think he's gonna be good anywhere else. Good route runner, but I mean, he's lost speed. Obviously, he can still catch, mm-hmm. but the Knicks beat the Lakers by one. <laughs> That's yeah, kind of beat. Bro. What you say? It's kind of beat. LeBron not uh, doing well there. Well, well I tell you what, you know. Okay. Same as last year. Lakers aren't going to make the playoffs. All right, so let me talk about the draft. Okay. What about it? So, Kyler Murray, number one. I mean, that's just becoming more and more like... I mean, I've been saying that. Well, me, it's me and uh, Big Ben have been saying that for a while. Big Ben. <laughs> yeah. Kyler Murray's going to go number one. They're going to trade Rosen. Or they could keep Rosen, kind of have a quarterback battle. Maybe one of them plays harder and like, okay. And then they'll trade him after the preseason. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe they trade Rosen for this year's... Draft to get another first or, or second round pick out of it. Kevin White signed with the Cardinals. That's a big signing. A nice, uh, wide Kevin White's signing. still a nice wide receiver. I mean, Young has the speed, has the height. Charles Suggs is on that team now. It's just he's been very, very injury prone his entire career. So I really can't wait for the Cardinals to go like three and thirteen this year. Yeah, again. Yeah. Again. Yeah. What do you expect? Teddy Bridgewater he resigns with the. Well, that's why David Johnson is. You know, it's not really that because he was good that one year because they actually had a good team. Mm-hmm. And then once you know that all fell apart, David Johnson got injured. The team kind of fell apart, and now they have no offense. So, they have nothing. Yeah, it's not. They really don't have much anywhere that they could really work with. So they're they're in trouble. The safety market. Ha ha. Clinton Dix yeah. goes to the Bears, while Landon Collins Landon of the Collins, New York Giants Landon goes Collins, to the Redskins. Landon Collins boosted the safety market. Eric Weddle. I understand Eric Weddle's older. He's still top three safety in this he league right the now. He goes to Rams, though. That's a good. Nah, I wouldn't say that. You don't think Not so? Not top three, no. Then what? Top ten. Top ten? You don't think he, he's top five? Who, Landon? He's top ten. Or Eric Weddle. Eric Weddle. Weddle. Yeah, he's he's a look at the safety he's this league, dude. Either There's way. no way he's top Eric five. Eric Weddle signed for like five mil a year. I understand he's older, but Eric Weddle's still a good safety. And then Landon Collins goes and signs with the Redskins on a super deal for like, what, 14 and a half, almost 15 mil a year? Huh? Adrian Ammo signed with the Packers? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And then a good the Bears sign signed Haha, so yeah. <laughs> they have him and Eddie Jackson. Nick Foles goes to the Jaguars. It's gonna be a nice little Nick Foles goes to the Jaguars. Yep. Well, how about how about we break it down? Let's go by one division at a time. Yeah. Let's start. 
sorry, the NFC West, and we'll make our way across uh, the nation. Nation. So, <coughs> NFC West, what happened? Cardinals, obviously, we talked about them. Yeah. What the what the Niners do? Oh, they, they traded for D Ford. They got D Ford for and, a second round pick. And next Colin year. Alexander. They signed Colin Alexander. Yeah, they signed Colin Alexander. Two good signings. Or trade in signing. They needed it. They needed yeah, they an need defense. And Their defense is bad. Them trading for D Ford kind of makes that second pick in the draft so much more valuable because do they really need another edge rusher? No. Obviously, Nick Bosa would be all because it's just it's Nick Bosa, but there's going to be a team willing to trade that second pick knowing Kyler Murray is going number one. So their pick just probably became the most valuable pick in the entire draft because they don't really need Nick Bosa. They can mess it's, up the whole draft. Not, the, they, Raiders, they, the Raiders they would love to trade up. Because like you've been saying, the Raiders want the, their Mac. They don't want Nick Bosa. They want Mac. They exactly. Want, they they want their own kind of... I mean, they had John Mac. Gruden, John Gruden wants his own Mac. Okay. Uh, they had what, Mac. Uh, who else is there in that division, Nick? I'm trying to think. Um, Rams. 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 Uh, they Eric signed Eric Weddle. Obviously, they signed Eric Weddle. Uh, they re-signed Fowler, correct? Yes, they re-signed Fowler. I think they're just re-signing guys and just making like veteran signings just to help out with the team. John Sullivan's gone, so they lost their center. Um, he's still a free agent right now. They could be in the market for a uh, center during the draft, maybe. That's a possibility. Get maybe get Bradbury late since he's a later pick. Um, Bradbury's really good, though. I think Bradbury. He can be play good. all five positions on the line. That's good for him. I think he's going to be one of the best on the team. Or one of the best linemen in the draft. Oh, yeah. And and you're calling him like one of like the best players in that draft class? Or offensive line-wise? Yeah, it's just it's a very, very stacked defensive class. That's that's what the entire problem is with why everyone's so far down. Like, last year's draft, Jordan Williams is kind of like the Quentin Nelson of the draft. And he's going to get drafted top 10. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Jordan Will- I, I Wow. I don't know if Jonah is going to get drafted top 10 this year just because there's so much defense in that top half, you know, top half of the draft, you know? Oh, we're missing Seattle, right? No, they're in NFC. Yeah, that's what we're yeah, talking about, yeah, Seattle. But they're, with, they're with the Niners. Okay. Were they? Well, I mean, we're still talking about the NFC West here. They're in, they're yeah. with the Rams and all of them? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So, yeah, remember Seattle. Remember sorry, Niners, yeah, 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 sorry. Seattle. Yeah, yeah, sorry. They lost Earl Thomas. Yeah, they lost Earl Thomas. We all, Everyone knew that was happening. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, that, what, that's pretty much it. They lost, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They, I, mean I don't think they signed much. anybody, really. Apparently, they want to sign a deal with Russell Wilson to make him the highest-paid player in NFL history. But I feel like that's just a new thing every year. So Speaking like of Russell Wilson, he's a Yankee. Russell Wilson's going to get the biggest deal, and then next year, Patrick Mahomes is going to get the biggest deal, and next year, Jamal Adams is going to get the biggest deal. It's okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there, there's that. So, okay, so let's let's keep moving, then. We're, 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 we're AFC West. AFC, AFC West. West. Chargers. Chargers. Well, they do. So they lost Tyrell Williams. Yes. So their wide receiver corpse kind of got little. So Tyrell Taylor though. They, yeah, but that what is that? That's do? just a dump. That's, That's just, just a backup, backup move. Philip Rivers is still the quarterback. Scared. It's a good backup though. It, he's a nice backup. It's just that could completely change the team because Philip Rivers just stays in the pocket. Tyrod's gonna want to run. Yeah. So that could change the entire team. Well, Tyrod doesn't run unless he has to. He yes, just he moves but, around to create space. Yes, That's which is does. true. Yeah. So is that? I mean, otherwise they didn't really do much. I don't think they did anything no, else, really. Just, yeah, they got rid of, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't really hear their names. Yeah, all right, no. Raiders. Well, we all heard about the Raiders. Yeah, they they Raiders. Broncos. Yeah. Broncos, they, did they really? They lost Matt Paradis. Yes, they, they, they lose Matt Paradis to the fucking Bills. They have Joe Flacco now? No, Paradis is on the Panthers. Panthers, sorry. sorry. Yeah, they got Joe Flacco on a trade. Joe Flacco. Old news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was a straight trade, right? Case Keenum for... Wait, so. no, no, no. Case Keenum went to Redskins. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I think they that's it Keenum. for the... Broncos. No, I can't think of anybody else. No, the, there's another team in that, in that division. Fucking Raiders, Broncos. Why am I drawing a blank on them? Chargers. Chiefs. 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 Oh. Raiders traded D Ford. Traded D Ford. They did pick up Tyree Matthew, but they released Eric Berry. Look at the whole thing with Tyree Kill right now. Tyree Kill could be going. Could I mean, thing is... Tyree Kill's going to the Browns. <laughs> if Tyree Kill does not get cut for what he did, I think the entire thing with Kareem Hunt is sh- stupid then. Yeah. So, but that's obviously... I'm hoping down. he's okay. I, I hope that he can... Look, play it's... Football. I would... I want to see that... I mean... Well, I mean, if Adrian Peterson got away with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. But, you know, that's... That's whatever. You know, it's... But I, he's I guess, one of the best wide receivers in the game right now. Oh, he yeah, he's just the fastest. Because he's fast, and he has yeah. a yeah. quarterback, so... But it's fun seeing them play that Chiefs team. Yeah. yeah. They got one of the best... Probably the best tight end in the league. Travis Kelsey. Yeah. I know him and Zach Ertz kind of fight for that spot, but... Kentucky is the goat. Fuck wrong. 
right. Who else is there? Is that it? Another AFC yep. North. AFC North. Or that's... NFC North. Which I NFC, so what? That's the... NFC's Packers, Lions, Bears, and Vikings. Packers, Lions, Bears, Vikings. Packers lost HaHa. No, they already traded him last year, didn't they? They gave, they gave him to the Redskins, and the Redskins lost him. Okay, did, they, go. did they lose uh, Blake Martinez? No, they lost Jake Ryan. Jake okay, Ryan. yeah, I knew they lost one. They lost no one that Otherwise, they didn't really. They, 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 I don't think they, they made any, any moves. So that's they still got Rodgers. Obviously. Uh, yeah, I didn't really hear them. Yeah, no. Uh, no, they got they got Preston Smith. They oh yes, him. yes, yes, you're right. Okay, they, yeah. got, they got like three linebackers. They did a lot on defense. I know that. Okay. They got Preston Smith. So there's Preston Smith. I know they got another linebacker, and they got someone else. Well, yeah, Adrian Amos. Adrian Amos. Oh yeah. yeah. Forget about that. Because they have to fill in for the spot for... Which is, I think, is a really uh, good signing for them. It is. Adrian Amos... I mean, we're, we're sort of just, like, you know, regurgitating facts here. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So, um, Bears, they got... Bears, Hama. obviously, Hama. We're going really to talk about the Bears, otherwise... Lost kind of Adrian team. Amos. But yeah. Um, Best defense in the league. So, Bears, who else Lions, in there? Lions. Bears, Lions. Lions, obviously, picked up Trey Flowers. They're going to lose a Yonsa, mm-hmm. but they picked up Trey Flowers, so it's not a big deal. I mean, um, no I think, one's even going after Anta. I know, which is kind of... It's yeah. weird. Maybe something's wrong with him. I don't know. Well, he's getting older and he's yeah. injury prone, so. But, I mean, I'd rather just go into draft and get Josh Allen yeah. than him. But <laughs> that's if we get Josh Allen. So yeah. We'll see. And then there's the uh, Bears, Lions, Vikings. Packers, Vikings. Vikings. Vikings, Anthony Barr. Yeah, Anthony Barr he fucking signed with the Jets. He could eat a cop. And then he says, <laughs> like, walking down the altar and marrying the wrong, wrong woman. So he went back to the Vikings. That's funny. It's all right. It is what it is. Don't worry. My puke is purple and yellow. <laughs> so that's pretty true with the Vikings. They really, I mean, right? There's, no, yeah. It was just Anthony Barr. Yeah, they just that's, that was really it. They resigned Barr, so. There was uh, talks of Stefan Diggs to the Redskins. <laughs> really? I didn't see those. No, yeah, it was it was all fake news. Yeah. Oh, okay, fake news. His, his brother posted something on uh, Twitter about it. You like to be an asshole. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, all right, so next division. AFC North. AFC North. So that's the... Uh, Steelers, Browns, Steelers, Bengals, Browns, and Ravens, Ravens, and Bengals. Okay, so... The Ravens are in Maryland. It doesn't make sense. Why are they in the North? <laughs> Ravens, the uh... The, North. the Ravens got Earl Thomas, right? Yeah. Earl Thomas, and they got Mark Ingram. Okay. So they have two good running backs. Who? Uh, in Lamar Jackson and Mark oh, yeah. Ingram. Um, two good running backs in Lamar <laughs> Jackson. Um, so there's uh, that. struck out looking today. Good. So there's that. Uh, Earl Thomas, obviously. I mean... What? Oh, they lost C.J. Mosley and Terrell Suggs. Suggs is still a free agent. Suggs. Oh, no, Terrell Suggs. Suggs signed with yeah, the Yeah, we forgot to talk about the Cardinals. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did talk about the Cardinals. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. Suggs, not, sorry. Justin Hughes is still a free agent. He yeah, actually, yeah, he, he got yeah, released by the Chiefs. <clears throat> sorry. So um, that. Um, so the Ravens, I mean... We already t- kind of talked about them. They lost some of their linebacking court, which made that team good. Yes. So now, I don't think they're going to be as good as they were last year. The Bengals, I don't think they made any moves. I think they released their fucking backup quarterback. Who? Uh, Adrian McCarron. They McCarron need, was on the Raiders. Yeah, Raiders they need a quarterback. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, Give it to Andy Dalton. He's done. Yeah, Andy Dalton's a cock in high school. Obviously, <laughs> we talked about the Bron, Bronze. Wow. The Browns. Yeah. Uh, all the moves. Odell, they got. Well, we home. really didn't go de- like, in depth. With yeah, we didn't. Obviously, well, they lost your bro peppers. Their defense is going to be nasty. It is. It's, 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 yeah. Olivier Vernon, Miles Garrett, and that, that D-line is just, yeah, it's, it's retarded, dude. You still have Danny Shelton, right? I don't know. No, I think he signed somewhere. Uh, I don't know. So there's that, and then there's Steelers, who obviously lost Antonio Brown. Lost Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. I feel like that kind of helps Juju in a way, because now he can make a better name for himself. Well, Juju was already one of the top receivers last year. But yeah, I also feel like... Top receivers I, think, I think Juju's ranked third in fantasy right now. I do feel like that Juju's numbers season. will go down next year just because the pressure and just because... like He was like Antonio Brown's like distraction, basically. Or he was Anto- or Antonio Brown's yeah. distraction. Either way. Le'Veon Bell was both of their distractions. <laughs> And but then, James Conner? Yeah, James Conner now can go Dude, full they, they, mode. That's the thing with them. Like, they got rid of A.B. and Bell, but they have their next A.B. and yeah, Bell. Yeah, exactly. So, like, they're fine, yeah, honestly. It's not, and plus, they're cheaper. Yeah. Or at least for and, now. And it's going to yeah. be, I mean, obviously now they're going to be the next Big Ben. And they did draft Mason Rudolph last year, correct? Yeah. So they have a decent quarterback behind Roethlisberger. Well, that, that's what we think, right? Yeah, obviously. We don't know. Think, so. so that's that division. Where do you want to go next? NFC East. Actually, no, let's do South. NFC South. NFC South? Yeah. That's, uh... Jaguars. Jaguars. Jaguars are the AFC. Oh, yeah, oh. what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Bucks, Saints, Panthers, and Falcons. Listen. Bucks, Saints, Packers. Oh, wow. Not Packers. 
Okay, let's just go. The Buccaneers <coughs> lost Quan Alexander, lost Ryan Fitzpatrick, so I guess they're, you know, fully in on <coughs> James Winston now. They've been um, on James Winston. They, I mean, I'm, I'm, oh, they lost Adam Humphreys. Yeah. Yeah, to who? Who do you go to? I forgot who he went to. Who goes? No. What? Where Let's find out. Uh, Humphreys went to the Redskins. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Redskins. Is that? I mean, I don't know if they're going to do much. The Saints, I, I don't think they did anything either. Uh, Except they, lost, they lost Mark Ingram. Oh, yeah. Obviously. They signed Lat Murray. He went to the Titans. Oh, yes, that is. That's Adam right. Humphreys. Okay, Adam Humphreys went to the Titans. He went to the what? Titans. Titans, that's right. Yeah. That's a good signing. So, Latavius Murray and Alvin Kamara, that's still going to be a dirty duo. Oh, yeah. Alvin Kamara with anyone's a dirty duo. Yeah. Because he, he's insane. I mean, uh, I don't know. He's good, but it's not that good. He's not like Le'Veon Bell or anything. <laughs> Le'Veon Bell's better than Saquon. No, he's not. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Let's relax there. Um, so, yeah, there's that. What other teams are in there? Uh, Panthers. Panthers and then the Falcons, right? Yeah, Panthers got Matt Paradis. So, Panthers got Matt Paradis. They lost Devin Funchess. He went to... The Colts? Bills? The Colts. Oh, Colts. The Colts had a one-year $13 million deal. Yeah, they're not overpaying, I know. That's a, I think that's like a prove-yourself deal. For 13 mil? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. One year deal. I guess. I mean, Give him some money, or a decent amount of money, just to... Uh, fuck it. Wait, no. Because, you know, Instagram, you get all those... You're looking around, and you just see these Colts fans saying, oh, the Jets signed James and Crowder to a three-year, $20, $27 million deal. That's such a waste of Nine money. Million a year. Let's turn around and pay Devin Funches $13 million a year. For just one year. Hey, I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know. But, uh... There's that. Otherwise, Panthers really didn't do much else. That... I think that was it. And then for the Falcons, they lost Brian Poole, their slot corner, who kind of stepped up for them in a big way last year after True Foss injury. Yeah. You got to uh, see what that safety core is going to do next year since... Uh, Keanu Neal's going to be back. Yeah, he tore his ACL last yep. year. Uh, Preseason. Kazee? Who was that guy? Oh, f- the outer linebacker? De- Demonte Kazee? Yeah, he's outer linebacker, right? Is safety. He? Well, yeah, I thought it was a safety. Well, safety. They, 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 apparently, apparently, he's like really good. But they I have a linebacker, too, as a funky name. I think he's young. That's why. I've never no, but like you hear of young safeties, you know, Derwin James, yeah. Jamal Adams, but who's Kizzy? Uh-huh. <laughs> never heard of him until uh-huh. like someone put him over Jamal Adams. Like, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, who? <laughs> I'm sorry, who? <laughs> who's that? That's it with so that division, right? Yeah, it's, that's that's uh, division. We didn't talk about the. We didn't talk about a fourth team. Yeah, we did. Falcons, Falcons Panthers, Saints, and the. Oh yeah, we did. So AFC North, AFC South. So, Colts, Titans, Jags, and there's another team down there. Texans. There you go. Wait, where are the Titans at? So, the Titans are in Tennessee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they need to sell? I don't know. Tennessee South. <laughs> I really yeah. don't know, man. Tennessee South. I don't know what division they are. All right, screw them. Um, <laughs> he just said it. Well, I mean, the, the Cowboys are in the East and the Bills are in the East. <laughs> okay, the Bills should be the North. <laughs> the be the East. So, let's just talk about that division. So, I was just saying the Titans picked up. Uh, Adam Humphreys, who's a decent wide receiver, nice slot. Yeah, receiver. A very good wide traded receiver. Traded for Ryan Tannehill. They do a young, a young wide receiver core. They traded for Ryan Tannehill. You know what's worse than one mediocre quarterback? Two. Two, Two mediocre quarterbacks. <laughs> uh, didn't they? Marcus Mariota just player? has to not get hurt every season. Well, that's kind of why they they picked up Tannehill. Oh, but he he's just coming back from two ACLs. That's not bad. So is that? <laughs> so that's okay. The Titans are good. Um, uh, the Texans didn't do anything to help their offense. Lost Tyron. They didn't do anything to help their offensive line. I know. They kept Jadavian Cloudy. I lost Tyron. Oh, well. Yeah, they oh, had well. one of the worst lines in the league. And they didn't do anything to help at all. Yeah, that's It's like good. idiots. They didn't even trade for Kelechi Assembly. <laughs> you, you couldn't give up a fifth round of form? Well, <laughs> don't worry, the Jets did. <clears throat> the Jets know what's up. Texans, Jaguars. Uh, okay. uh, Nick Foles. Signed Nick Foles to a really big contract. Worth it. Blake Bortles got released. <laughs> The world's released, and he's trash Jalen anyway? Ramsey. He hasn't been traded yet. I don't think they're going to trade. <laughs> so um, there's that. Uh, they lost Dante Moncrief. I forgot what team he went to. Uh, Colts. There you go. Cool. Did he go back to the Colts? Yep. Really? Okay. Uh-huh. No. No. He didn't. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, Funches. <laughs> I don't know who. Yeah, and, and he went He went to another team in the, in the NFL. One of the other 31. <laughs> 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 it might have been the Colts. Um, well, we'll get some back checks on that. We'll look it up. Yeah. You know, we're not tomorrow. No, nope. Steelers. Um, Steelers. That's where you want it. Steelers. That's a okay. nice addition, though. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. 
Um, so what about the Texans, Titans, and Jaguars? And what about the Colts? Colts? We've been talking about the Colts for a bunch of nights. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to do much. You know, they're Colts. We're the best O-line in the league, and we still find a way to lose to the shitty Chiefs. Oh, well. <laughs> Chiefs couldn't even beat the Patriots. <laughs> Scumbags. <laughs> so now we have NFC East. You want to go to? Yeah, we'll do NFC East. We're gonna start. We're gonna save the Giants for last. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna start with the Redskins. Okay. So obviously signed Landon Collins to that major contract for a safety. Yeah. Okay, have Case uh, Keenum now. Traded Case. Traded for Case Keenum. Can't who I think is a really good addition. It's he's a really good quarterback. They don't know who the quarterback is right now. So yeah. What do you mean? Alex Smith. He's you not think playing. He's, yeah. Alex, exactly. No, he shouldn't play for. So who do you think? If he's going to come Keenum's in, yeah. starter. Exactly. Um, they lost Jameson Crowder, who was out with injury last year anyways. Um, pretty much it, right? Yeah, they uh, do. Didn't they get something on defense? I thought they got something on defense. I forget. Defense. Well, they lost They lost one of the linebackers. Because Preston Brown, whatever his name was. was Preston him? Smith. Smith, he was, he was a red skin, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, so he, he left. The Packers. Um, Cowboys. Cowboys didn't do anything. I don't think they did anything. I know. They lost uh, Cole Beasley. Yeah. Yeah. Jerry Jones is very happy that Odell's gone. He's, who isn't? Jerry Jones. <laughs> who He's, like who wouldn't be? <laughs> the division rival lost to one of their best players. Let's be happy. Is that that. Eagles. Oh, they traded uh Michael Bennett. To the Michael Pats. Bennett to the Pats. Great. So <laughs> can't wait to play him twice a year. And then they lost Nick Foles, so Carson Wentz is a full go. Yeah, I yeah, can't wait for him to pull out his ACL again. And then Mark Sanchez comes in. <laughs> Mark Sanchez well, from the Redskins. <laughs> they trade him. Help us. But fumble. <laughs> Um, and then the Giants. Um, where to start? All right. They were looking promising, and right. now, now, they're not looking promising. I they mean... wanted to start a rebuild, or wanted to kind of build up... The thing is, life. they're doing... When you do a rebuild, you're supposed to, like, you know, get rid of your 38-year-old quarterback. Yeah. Not uh, your 24-year-old wide receiver, who's the top three receiver in the league. All right, I know that, okay? I'm not talking to you. You guys can see my reaction So what's video. next, Saquon? No, he's not leaving. Oh, I think he's going to leave. He's got if, way too much potential. If we trade him, really we'll leave, if he leaves, I'm like, I'm done. I'm just start rooting for the Jets. G-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. So that's that. Uh, I'm so I pissed, signed though. Golden Tate. We need some O-line. We signed Golden got Tate. Got Kevin Zeitler from the Browns. We, so need, a, really we need a right tackle. We need a You need a whole line. line, except for right guard. No. Left guard's no. fine. Left tackle's oh, iffy. Oh, sorry. Will Hernandez, I forgot. Left yeah, tackle's got... iffy. Nate Soldier, he, he just old. We just re-signed our two centers that we have. Two centers, wow. Yeah. Uh, we sent our fullback, bro. Um, who we barely use. Who else we got? Um, defensive wise, we did sign two or three people. I know that. Some D line. We signed Marcus two safe. Oh, we have two safeties now. Yes. Jabril Peppers, who I think was actually a good trade for that. I mean, uh, for Jabril, we got him. Jabril. Jabril, whatever the hell his name is. He was the 13th best safety in the league last year. I so. didn't know that. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. What is that based on? I don't know. PFF stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, so it's all, like, the ratings yeah. and ranking. Yeah. And I mean, the thing, he, like, he's a very good kick returner, could, too, so. Is he? Yeah. I haven't seen him do anything in that this year. In like, the NFL, the last two years. Like, I feel like every time he fields a ball, he just, you know, doesn't do anything with it. And, I, I mean, if he, he could play linebacker, too, at some point. He could be a hybrid guy, which is kind of nice. Like Jamal Adams. No. Not like Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams is one of a kind. <laughs> and I don't care. You guys could say it's biased. Jamal Adams is. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's something. So else. Are we moving the Jets then now? <laughs> no, we're not. Segway? We're not moving the Jets. We're Jets just talking about the Jets. Yeah, Jets are last. You see how I set it up? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I was talking about your favorite team, the Patriots, real quick. Then. Um, um, lost Trey Flowers. Michael Bennett now. They brought Michael Bennett. Is yeah. Lawrence Guy still there? Yeah, right? They saw Lawrence Guy, right? Yeah, they saw Lawrence Guy. Tom Brady yeah. retired. Um, what? <laughs> Imagine. Josh Gordon, apparently, I, th- I think they gave him a tenure. They re-signed him, yeah. Well, not yet. They gave him... A tenure, yeah, but no one's going to go yeah. after it, so they, they got him back. So that. Um, I mean, otherwise, they, I don't think they really did. I think they just signed the little veterans. Yeah, they there. re-signed their guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. They all have smart guys anyway. That. Oh, no, they did, they did do something. What'd they do? They, Mark no, but they, they actually signed they signed like two people. I know that. I don't remember. I really I, yeah. I'm I don't really give a shit anyway. All right, Dolphins. Dolphins. Uh, lost Ryan Tannehill. Who are we? Their QB. Uh, Matt Moore. No, they're probably oh they're, they're Ryan the Patrick. Draft one. Oh yeah, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh yeah. They, yeah, they just signed him. Shit. They might draft one though. You don't know. Yeah, Ryan I'm expecting them to draft one. Yeah. So there's that. A Drew Lock or something. Um, 
Um, I think they resigned Parker. Yeah. They gave him like, Yeah, Devontae extension. Parker, like a two-year, like 13 mil. Something whatever. like that. He deserves it, though. He's a decent one. Yeah, they didn't do much else either. I mean, the Bills. They lost a right tackle, right? Yeah, Jawan James. Yeah. Uh, Where did he sign? Broncos, Broncos or the Raiders? No, the Raiders got Trent Brown. I don't know how to pass. Yeah. They lost Donald Penn, too, the Raiders. Yeah, he retired. No, good for him. Yeah, he was old as hell. <laughs> so, um, that... The Bills. Uh, we were talking about the Bills, kind of. You know, they yeah. just Cole Beasley, John Brown, Paul Antonio Brown, schedule. Yeah, that guy. Uh, they had a lot of signings. Matt they, they did. No, they got Mitch Morse. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Why do they keep? They got Mitch Morse. You really like that guy, huh? I yeah, because I <laughs> really wanted him. Yeah, <laughs> I did really want him. Yeah, they got Mitch Morse, and then they did. That's really it. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. trying to think. I mean, obviously the Jets were just going to know a lot about the Jets because yeah, it's all we cared know. about. So all right, let's like go there. So let's go with the Jets. All right, all right, so all right, all right, all right obviously right. traded for... Obviously they, they drafted traded. they drafted Jamal Adams two years ago, so that means they have the best safety in the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> just got to get that out of the and way. And last year they traded up on this day. Get so out of here. To get Sam Darnold, right? Right. Right? Am I right? Am I right? right? Like, really? You get it? Yeah. It's fucking crazy. St. Patrick's Day traded up to third pick with the Colts. To get the... And red-headed then, quarterback. And then driving Sam Donald. <laughs> what? Crazy. Oh, man. And three years before that, they drafted Lebanon Williams. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyways. All right, uh, well. The first thing in free agency was we Jameson uh, traded. Crowder was the first sign. No, we traded for Kelechi Osemele. That was not free agency. It was in free agency. No, um, it wasn't. Okay, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, it was before. Signed Jameson Crowder, and every single Jets fan were like, what the fuck are we doing? I was okay with it. And then we signed C.J. Mosley. And then we signed... Anthony Barr. And then we signed... And then he left. <laughs> and then he left. <laughs> we got we got someone else, though, now. Who else did we get in? We re-signed Dower Give Roberts, Henry second. Anderson. Yeah. Henry Anderson. Give but, me a um, second. There's somebody else in there. I know. Brian Poole. Brian there's, Poole. There's another fucking person. Is he Poole? Is he able Chandler Poole? Chandler Cantanzaro. Yeah, I got, we got our kicker back. We got our old left. kicker. Oh, Josh Bellamy. Yes. Josh Bellamy. So, uh, you can say first special cut teams. I don't, I don't think he's a fucking... He's not a special teams. No. Um, I don't should, understand. We, like, we should definitely trade for... They paid Andre Roberts two and a half. The Bills. Two and a half. Couldn't have given him three. <laughs> <laughs> they have 47 million right now. So you gave him so much. Of course, we lost. We lost all our fucking Pro Bowl guys except for yeah. Jamal Adams. It blows. That's cool. All. <laughs> our two Pro Bowl guys. It's okay though. Because this year, everyone's going to be in the Pro Bowl. All right, well... I mean... Le'Veon Bell will be, Sam Donald will be, Jamal Adams will be, CJ Mosley will be. Avery Williamson. Leonard Williams. Leonard Williams. Tremaine Johnson. Kalechi Osamel. Osamele. Os- Os- Osamele. <laughs> oh, oh, and so, so e- either Robbie or uh, Quincy. Or Quincy. One of them will be. Or Jameson. Let's just say everybody on the Jets can be a Pro Bowl, huh? I mean, as of right now, how do you how do you call yourself a fan unless you expect everyone to be good? <laughs> yeah. Right? Come on. I mean, you already quit on the Giants. I yeah. didn't quit. Me yeah, you did. I did not quit. Well, you did. I did you not. You said it beforehand. You said, I really hope the Giants go 0-16. <laughs> I mean, hey, number one pick, let's get it. Yeah, but... Anyways, how much time are we at? We are uh, at currently 30 minutes. 38 minutes. 38 minutes, right? We're talking about a little bit of baseball. Yeah, talking about a little bit of baseball. I, yeah, we'll right, segue right. into baseball. Just so, as, <clears> as you guys all. know... There's kind of a lot to talk about, but three of us are... Uh, are Yankee fans. fans. So, we're kind of just going to talk about the Yankees and, I guess, their division. I guess we kind of talk about, like, the big things that happened. So, obviously, the first week, not first week, maybe second week, Patrick Corbin, uh, you know, uh, he was supposed to go to the Yankees, apparently. He signed with the Nationals. Uh, I, f- I feel like the Nationals over- overpaid him, though. Gave him a lot of money. Yeah, I saw that. That's a lot Gave of Patrick money. Gave Patrick Corbin a lot of money. Um, and then we kind of just sat here and waited, uh, you know, a whole year for Harper and Machado to sign. But in the end of it, it was like, how and why? <laughs> Machado signed with the Padres on a 10-year $330 million? 300. 300 million? Yeah, 300. Yeah. 10 year, 300 million. So it's 325. 325. Uh, who knows? Who cares? It's a lot of, shit. Years, it's a lot of fucking money. And then Bryce Harper signs with the Phillies for a 13 year with no opt out, no trade clause, $330 million contract. They try to womp each other. So oh, pretty much what happened was is they signed Bryce Harper until he's 39 years old <laughs> with no opt out and no trade. Machado yeah. has luck. a five year opt out. Good luck. <laughs> so, um, I don't know where they're. Thinking about that, but I guess I want to be a Philly for the rest of his career. Okay, that's cool. Let's get the cheese So, takes. now let's talk about the Yankees real quick. I feel like the Yankees had one of the better uh, free agencies throughout the entire league. We didn't and do much, but we did a little no, bit. No, 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 we did a lot. 
It's just, it was the big name players. Yeah. We re signed Jay Happ. We re signed CC. We re signed Brett Gardner. We re-signed brought in Troy Tulowitzki to the league minimum. And our rivals are paying him 20 million a year. Well, so we're that's just just pretty good. And honestly, look, if Troy Tulowitzki doesn't end up being what we think he's going to be, then it's okay because you paid him $237,000 a year. <laughs> It's okay, league minimum. So he's getting paid nothing. That's great. Uh, brought in DJ LeMayhew to, I'm mean, going to say a pretty big contract, two years for $17 million, but, Or 20. It, no, it's 24 mil. It was 24 mil. For 12 years. Yes. It's 12 mil each year. So which that, is, that's not terrible. Yeah, but he, I mean, his numbers outside of cores weren't that good. However, DJ LeMayhew could be a really good concert hitter on team, which is what we need because you have a lot of strikeouts and just home run hitters. Yeah. So there's that. And then um, we, oh, we, we did re sign Sevy. And Aaron Hicks. Aaron yeah, Hicks got a seven-year deal. Sevy got, I think, a four-year deal. Sevy's hurt though right now. Sevy is currently hurt. So is Aaron Hicks. Okay. That's great. So Sevy's going to be out until April. Hicks is going to miss opening day. CeCe's going to be only be able to pitch through mid-April. Don't worry, bro. We still got Jacoby Ellsbury. So Jacoby Ellsbury is just, you know, <laughs> just chilling, you know, on the IL, or IR, sorry. Injured reserve now. It's only going to the disabled list. So stupid. Okay. So it was that. Um, and then, obviously, they brought in the uh, the uh, big-name reliever, Adam Odovino. And they, that kind of set up the Yankees to have probably the best bullpen of the entirety of baseball oh, in history. Hell yeah. Don Batanzas, Aroldis Chapman, Adam Odovino, Zach Britton, Jonathan Holder. There's still Tommy Canley, if he could kind of resurge himself, what he did when, he, when we first got him. And there's obviously the big name, Chad Green, who just works out of fucking jams all the time. The rotation could be better, but we did trade for James Paxton. Really big, uh, yeah, really so good strikeout pitcher, and he's a lefty. We got rid of our number, like one of our best. Yeah, we got prospect. rid of Sheffield, but we're gonna win now. So it's, yeah, exactly. So it's okay. It's okay. So our rotation realistically is Severino, Tanaka, James Paxton, J. Happ, and CC Sabathia until Jordan Montgomery comes back, which probably gonna take CC spot and put CC into a long relief kind of position, or we run a six man rotation. Yeah, oh, I love six man rotation because Tanaka and Sevy both pitch better on an extra day of rest. Yeah, so that's that that could be a big thing for the Yankees. Um, now, let's kind of just look around. I'm going to say something right now. Aaron Judge is having the best fucking spring training anybody's ever had. But we have 33 runs. Yeah, we had 30, 31 runs the past two games. So that's, uh, that's, that's a little bit crazy. Yeah, a little crazy. And Aaron Judge has six home runs on ten hits. God dang. The other four hits are doubles. And he's batting a three fifty. So that's tell me crazy. how that's working. Um, so there's that. And then, all right, so let's just talk about that division. Oh, real quick. Let's talk about the Mets. Traded for Robinson Cano. Traded for Edwin Diaz. So they got a nice big name in the bullpen. Robinson Cano is still a good second baseman. They did do a little... They got Jed Lowry. So, yeah. I mean, their pitching staff is good. Their bullpen's weak. Still have no but their Syndergaard. lineup still got pretty good. Still got no Syndergaard. They still got all their pitchers. J- How are you going to say no Syndergaard over Jacob DeGrom? Well, yeah, you still got him. Jacob DeGrom only just won Cy Young. Come on. Zach Wheeler's still decent. So that's that. So the Mets, but obviously they still have a tough division. The Phillies are obviously contenders now. Signing McCutcheon, Bryce Harper... And they obviously have a silent guy up there in Aaron Nola. Jake Arrieta, if he could rebuild himself to a top name, they could be one of the better teams in the league. The Nationals, the Nationals, really good pitching staff. Their lineup isn't as good, but... Oh, one other big name. Paul Goldschmidt was the Cardinals. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Um, so, okay, back to the AL East. Obviously, you got the reigning champions, the Red Sox. Yeah, he's earned no... Uh, they have Aaron Judge. I know. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Judge. Savage, right? Yeah, that's uh. He's a, he's a Yankees. He's uh, a scary man. He's the Yankees Jamal Adams. Yes, pretty much. Two of the same. Number. So there's that. So the Red Sox really didn't do much in free agency. Um, they, I don't think they did anything at all. Actually, I don't think so. Sean Oakman's coming back. So there's that. He, Sean Oakman's coming um, back. He actually be in the draft. One thing really? that the Red Sox did do is they lost almost their entire bullpen. Yeah. Which is what saved them last year. Craig Kimbrell is still a free agent. Oh wow. So there's that. Uh, they don't have any bullpen anymore, so that's going to hurt them a lot. J.D. Martinez is still J.D. Martinez. Mookie Betts and Mookie Betts, and obviously so and so forth. Chris Sale is Chris Sale. I don't care about David Price because the Yankees kill him every time, so it's okay. So obviously the Orioles are the fucking Orioles. So we don't got to worry about them. They're going to get 50 wins yeah. again. Uh, there's else. obviously <coughs> two teams that could be big, big. Like the Blue Jays could end up having a good season. If mm. Bo Bichette and all the young guys come up, Vlad, Vlad Jr. Yeah, you're right, you're right. If Marcus Stroman kind of learned how to pitch a little bit better, because with the way that, that you know, it's just, it's looking scary now. Yeah. So, the Blue Jays kind of be a surprise team, and the Rays were a surprise team last year. Oh. Steelers just signed someone. Who? Mark Barron. 
There you go. Steelers trying Mark Barron. So Breaking a, news. A linebacker. <laughs> Two year, 12 bills. I wonder if they're giving up on Ryan Shane's year. <laughs> no. Safety. Oh, he's a safety? No. I thought he was a linebacker. No. Oh, he's switched. Okay, well, whatever. So there's that. Steelers trying Mark Barron. So, back to baseball. Uh, obviously, Eric Barry, Eric Barry's going to the Browns. No. Yeah. Tony Snell, right? Oh. Eric Berry's best time with the Browns. God dang. So there goes that defense. Um, <laughs> Tony Snell is, is, is uh, a... Tony Snell plays for Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> What's the pitcher's name on the... On the... Blake Snell? Blake Snell. <laughs> bro. Get your sports right. Sorry, bro. Blake Snell, uh, you Cy Young him? from last year, is a great pitcher. Um, but uh, the rest of kind of just goes downhill. They really I mean, they, they have decent pitchers. I don't even know what their names are. So there's that. Okay. And, I mean, Tim, I mean, I don't know. There's I mean, not huge news lately for baseball. It's just the major signings. Yeah. Guys mostly resigning. You have all the young guys come up with the farm systems and everything. Yeah. You're getting good, bro. We'll be all right. We'll go, have, we'll go to a game. We'll vlog it for you guys when it happens. Hell, yeah. That'd be mad fun. I mean, we're at 45 minutes right now. We'll talk about anything else. Duke won the ACC championship. Yes, they did. They are winning everything. They are winning everything. We're actually watching the party, the watch party right now, as they're doing the seating right now, that? currently. So, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. So, is that? Um, we'll be making our brackets Zion soon. said they got the killer mentality. Yeah, bro. We should actually set up bracket thing and yeah. have, like, viewers or if they want. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll set up a bracket thing. You guys could make your own bracket, see what Join happens. Join our thing, and yeah. So, that's it. Guys, you want to say anything else, Nick? My balls hurt. <laughs> Dylan? Nah, I mean, pretty good talk. Kind of just burned through 45 minutes pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, You know, talked about a lot about... 47 minutes. Okay. Talked, about, <laughs> talked, talked a good amount about football, got a little bit about baseball. There wasn't really much that... There wasn't really much that I wanted about... I mean, you know, just kind of talk, talk about the Yankees and whatnot. So, that's that. So, uh, yeah. Want to get an outro, Matt? Yes, sir. Do so, hold on. Not yet, not yet. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> You're gonna have to press the stop button, by know, everybody. Okay. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, this podcast. Uh, we do enjoy doing this, so hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. Peace, guys.